Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make this crochet macaron or macaroon. You're going to need two colours of yarn. You're going to need um, your main colour, um, which on this one is the yellow. But today I'm going to be using a pink colour, um, just to make a strawberry flavour this time. And you're also going to need the inside, the creamy colour. And today I'm using, same as before, We Are Knitters, the cotton in natural and this one is bubblegum. Um, now, the yarn I'm using calls for a five millimeter crochet hook, but because it's amigurumi, I always like to use a half a size or a size smaller than the um, uh, yarn suggests, just to give you nice tight, um, tighter holes in the, in the amigurumi. Um, so, tighter stitches rather. So I'm gonna use a four millimeter today, but that's really up to you what you want to do. Um, and it's up to the yarn you use as well, of course. We also need our um, scissors uh, handy. It's always good to have them nearby. And a yarn needle to tie in any loose ends. I've got some optional safety eyes today as well um, because I'm going to have a go at making my macaron a little more kawaii, quite cute. Maybe embroider a little smile on that. I'll show you that step. If you want to ignore it, just skip past it. Um, if you want to embroider your eyes on using yarn instead, you could do that. Um, but otherwise, I'm going to be using the safety eyes. Okay, let's get started. Before we start, I forgot to mention the toy stuffing you're going to need as well. Just a small amount to stuff your macaron. Um, but you can use yarn scraps as well if you don't have any stuffing lying around. Okay, let's get started with our magic ring. Um, I have a video that goes into more detail with how to do this if you're a beginner. Um, and I'll put the link to that below in the description box. Um, otherwise, I'll do a, another run through now if you just need a refresher. So, left hand, take your yarn. Short end at the front there, long end attached to the yarn at the back. And wrap it around your finger so you have an X then you want to take the yarn from this side from the right hand side move it to the left and then your new right hand side you want to lift until you have a kind of loop and then you're just going to put your yarn um, sorry put your hook into that loop and then just pull with those fingers to close that up then you're going to put a bit of yarn on your hook yarn over and pull it through the gap there. Take your finger out and you've got a magic ring. Okay. The next thing you're going to do is create six stitches, uh, single crochet in US terminology into the middle of this ring. So you're gonna go right in over both pieces of yarn, pull through some yarn, yarn over and pull through. Okay, and you do that six times. So once more into the middle, yarn over, two loops, yarn over, pull through, okay? So you're gonna do that until you have six stitches in your ring. Okay, I've got six stitches. The next thing I'm going to do is pull on this tail here to close the ring, okay? And then I'm gonna go into the first stitch that I made with my hook, and this is round two now. And I'm going to put two single crochet. Sorry, the first stitch is always the hardest to get into. Two single crochet into the first stitch. So there's one. And there's two. And then in the next stitch, I'm going to put two and I'm going to keep doing that around until I have a total of 12 stitches. OK, and this round 12 needs to become 18. So I'm going to do an increase in the first stitch, one single crochet on its own in the next stitch, increase, single, increase, single, increase, single until I have a total of 18 stitches. So next stitch, I'm going to do an increase, which means two single crochet. One, two, and then the next stitch is going to be one on its own. Three. 
next stitch, two together, four and five, next stitch, one on its own. Okay, do that until you have a total of 18 stitches. Okay, that's 18 and I need to get 18 up to 24. So again, I'm going to do some increases. This time I'm going to increase in the first stitch. Then I'm going to do one single crochet on their own in the next two. Increase in the next, one single crochet in the next two. All the way around so I have 24. So find your first stitch. In you go. One single crochet. Two single crochet in that stitch. And then the next two are on their own. So one on its own and two on its own. Okay, increase again. One and two. And one on its next one on its own. And the one after on its own. Okay, all the way around until you have. 24 stitches. So the next round is going to be our last increase round and we're going to do two single crochet in the first stitch. So an increase in the first stitch followed by one, two, three on their own. Increase, one, two, three on its own. Increase, one, two, three. All the way around till you have 30 stitches. So an increase again is just two stitches in the same stitch. So one and two together. Next one on its own. Three. Next one on its own four, next one on its own, five. Okay, so increase, one, two, three on their own, increase, one, two, three on their own, all the way around so you have 30 stitches. Okay, that was our last increase round and we have 30 stitches. The next two rounds that we do are just going to be one single crochet into each stitch. So if you want to count, you're just gonna count 60 stitches and you'll be done, 60 single crochet. Um, if not, it's two rounds if you like to use a stitch marker. Personally, I like to count, so I'm gonna get going now and I'm gonna to count to 60. Remember, one stitch in each stitch, okay? No increases and no decreases. Two, three, 58, 59, and before I finish off 60, I'm gonna go in to do it, and then I'm gonna stop there with the two loops on my hook. So I'm at 60, so I've done my two rounds, and I'm just going to grab my um, cream coloured yarn, so the centre, just grab the end of it, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to join it here instead. So I'm just going to finish off the single crochet by adding in the cream colour there instead. Now that's just how I like to change colours yarn, colour yarn if you like to do something slightly differently that's absolutely fine that's just the way I like, I like to do it all right now we're ready to go with our cream colored yarn and we're going to do a single crochet in each stitch around but the difference is we're only going to go into the back loop so be careful if you've never done this before so this is a single crochet stitch this kind of v that we have here and normally you'd go into the whole stitch you'd go under both loops but what we're doing today is we're going into the back loop only. So this one here is the front loop, the one facing you. And sometimes patterns will call for you to go into the front loop of a stitch. But today we're going to go only into the back loop, okay? And you'll see why in a second when we're done, but it does sort of create, it makes it look like the cream is sort of squished, squished inside the two shells of the macarons. Okay, so normal single crochet from there. The only difference is, you're going into the back loops, okay? So you're gonna do a whole round of this, meaning you're gonna to count to 30 again. So I've done two, three, four, 29, and 30, okay? So that's in the back loops only, so it should look something like that. Next we're going to do one round with single crochet in every single stitch around. So just back to your normal single crochets, back under both loops and you're going to do 30 single crochet. 28, 29 and we're changing colours again so on 30 
I'm going to go into the stitch, have my two loops ready, and then I'm going to drop my beige yarn, or whatever colour it is, nat natural colour yarn, cream colour yarn, and I'm going to bring in my pink again, my main colour, and I'm just going to finish off the crochet, single crochet using that. Okay, uh, next thing we need to do is go through the back loops again, okay, of every stitch. So we're going to count to 30 in the back loops. So we should now be using pink yarn going into the cream colour yarn, okay? So back into the back loops only. Two, three, all the way around so you have a total of 30. Okay, and that's one round complete into the back loops. Right, I don't need this natural colour anymore, so if you haven't already, you can just snip that off. Don't need to leave a long tail or anything. It's just going to be stuffed inside. So you can get that yarn out of your way. Okay, now's a good time to put in the safety eyes. So if you're not doing that, you can just ignore this step and move straight on to the next round. Um, if you're embroidering them, you can do them now. But if you are using safety eyes, I recommend popping them in now. So it's really up to you where you position them. I would probably recommend on, you can either do them on the top like that, or you could do them on the side. I think I'm going to do them on the side today, um, just to see how that looks. So pop them in. The more you space them apart, the kind of cuter and more kawaii it looks, I suppose. Um, adorable. <laughs> okay, right, back to, sorry, I'm just going to attach them in with their plastic backs and then we're going to go back to the crochet. Okay, eyes are attached. Next thing to do is to do another round of single crochet in every stitch around. This time though, we're not going into the back loops, we're going into the entire stitch. So go under both of those loops, yarn over, pull through. And you want to do 30 single crochet until we get back round to the side again. Okay, that round is done. I've just done 30 single crochet. Next thing we need to do is decrease. And we're gonna decrease all the way back down now, uh, just in the same way. Um, in the same number that we've increased. So we're going to start by making our 30 back down to 24. Okay, so you go into, to do a decrease stitch, you go into the stitch as normal, pull up a loop as normal, two loops in your hook, only this time you're going to go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull it through, and so you have three loops in your hook. Then you're going to yarn over and pull through all three, and that way you create two stitches into into one stitch okay so one decrease followed by three single crochet okay two three and that decrease again for you into the stitch as normal grab some yarn as normal go into the next stitch grab some yarn and then you have three stitches three loops in your hook yarn over pull through all three okay and then you're going to do th follow that with three single crochet as normal and you're going to do that all the way around until you have a total of 24 stitches okay 24 now needs to become 18 so we're going to do a decrease stitch followed by two single crochet so decrease just as we did before followed by two single crochet. Decrease. Followed by two single crochet. And you're going to do that until you have 18 stitches. Okay, as you can see the hole in the middle is getting much smaller now so this is a good time to stuff the macaron. So just pull up your hook there so that, that doesn't come undone. Grab some of your toy stuffing, just start with a little bit at a time just so you can see how much you want to put in there. 
You don't need to really overstuff it because you don't want it to be ball shape, you do want it to be flat. But it's quite nice to have it quite firm as well. Um, relatively firm anyway. Okay, so I'm just going to keep doing that until that macaron is as firm as I want it. Okay, I'm happy with that, that's about right. So there's still a bit of, of give there, but it's a nice shape. The stuffing has made the macaron a nice shape. And you can see the position of the eyes is really funny because it makes it, the cream look like the, the smile. Okay, so we need to finish off the um, macaron just by closing this gap. So we're going to do six decreases now, um, all the way around. So a decrease into every stitch, basically. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, and then the next thing to do is slip stitch into the next stitch. Leave a long tail, cut off. Grab your yarn needle and just thread that end onto the needle. And then we're going to draw string this hole closed, okay? So in underneath that stitch with the needle, pull it all through. Backwards then from the center out into the next stitch back into the center so you're going kind of up and down up and down weaving the tail in until you've gone through all the stitches all six stitches and then you're just going to pull it like a magic ring and the hole should close and then you just want to for extra security just make sure you sew it closed so do a few stitches going across there just to really make sure it's closed up. And then just to lose your tail, just go back and forth a few times through. Don't pull it too tight though, otherwise you end up with dimples. And you can go through as many times as you want just to bury that yarn tail. And then just pull it tight and snip. Okay. And there you have the completed macaron with his little eyes, or if you'd prefer without eyes, it might look a bit more than like that. Um, you can see the size difference. This one is exactly the same yarn as I showed you at the beginning. However, this was made using the five millimeter hook and this was made using the four millimeter hook. So you can see how that does make a difference. And also on the bottom, it's quite gappy with the five millimeter, but it's quite, it's much neater with the four millimeter. So that's just, um, shows you why it's important to think about your hook size. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Um, please like, comment, share, subscribe, find me on Instagram at LMLM Crochet. And if you do make anything on Instagram, please share it using the hashtag LMLM Crochet. Thank you so much. See you soon. Bye.